must be delighted that uh, so many people have kind of embraced the movie and gone to the cinema to see it. Yes, I am. It's really exciting. And a lot of people, you know, I, I get these messages that it's their favorite movie and what a, what an honor. So that, that makes me very happy. What was it like working with uh, Peter Farrelly? Because I, I know him from Dumb and Dumber and stuff about Mary, very, very different. But what was it like working with this? Because it seems like a project that he was very, very passionate about from the beginning. He is. I, I, you can talk to Pete for five minutes and you know he's a great storyteller. Like He really has great stories. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a very humble, hilarious person. And, and uh, he really cares about things and people. And so it's wonderful to work with him. And I'm happy for him. He did a lot with the movie. Let me ask you about working with uh, Vigo because it's one of those performances that's quite transformative in many ways because yes. he's playing a character that's very different. I mean, what was it like seeing him bring that character to life? Because he does a fantastic job. Well, the funny thing is it is so transformative. It's nothing like who he actually is. And uh, yet he makes it look so easy. Almost too easy, I think. And uh, and so people, I, 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 it's his performance is so seamless. And I remember even rehearsing with him. Thought, oh, wow, he's already started. Because <laughs> he's so good, it just seems like he's just living, a living, breathing human person next to you, not like he's reciting any lines. Yeah. And for you as an actress, are you enjoying doing movies like Green Book, then going off and doing a Daddy's Home 2 with yes. Will Ferrell? Are you enjoying the kind of the mix that you're getting to do at the moment? I do. I mean, my whole goal in becoming an actor was to be able to change myself in as many ways possible. So I love doing something that's different from the last thing that I've done. And I, I'll come off of Green Book and do a... a I'll have a, I have a, a dark comedy that I did for Netflix that'll come out this year, and I, I did a movie with Tom Hardy called Fonzo, and that's a more, that's a more dramatic movie, and then I did a horror movie. So I just like to, to be able to do as many different things as possible. Fantastic. And are you excited to see if uh, Green Book wins and then maybe goes on to Oscar celebration? I mean, do you get a sense of that, or are you just, you're just enjoying the ride? I think once you get to this point, it's really just an enjoyable ride, especially for me. I mean, it just... It's so rare that you actually get to be at this point with any movie. You know, lots of people do lots of movies every year all the time and hope for the best. And we're, we're, we're up there with everybody. And so that's the reward. And if we win, that'll be great, too. I'm sure there's someone out there that wanted Scooby-Doo to win down the, down, the, <laughs> down the years. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, did, I, I will ask you about playing film. I mean, that must have been great, great fun back then. It was so much fun. And that, I came off with Freaks and Geeks and did that. So that was two different roles for me. I thought that was really exciting. She was, you know, very character -y and it was very broad character as opposed to a very, you know, realistic character. So that, that kind of stuff was fun for me. At the time, it was the broadest character I could play, like a, you know, a crazy broad character that was, she was still smart. So that was really fun. And I still have, you know, kids coming up to me. Now they're in their 20s <laughs> calling me Velma. <laughs> and just finally, I will ask you about uh, Avengers and Marvel. I'm sure you can't, you can't say anything but how excited are you to see kind of this combination if you like of this three hour movie that all the fans are so excited to see i can't wait i don't i can't wait to see how they wrap it up because even if you think you know even if you know you don't know so it, it's always full of surprises and and uh there are so many incredible actors in that film and behind the scenes all the people are so talented it's it's really a marvel what they come up with so Fantastic. not to you know to use a pun <laughs> I wish you all the best tonight. Thanks so much for stopping. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!